guys welcome back to the second video for the procreate tutorial and in this video I'm gonna cover layer layers and layer options and we're gonna talk a little bit about them and how they work so let's click on our smiley face this thing needs a little bit of fixing let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna tilt the the canvas just a little bit and uh, the direction that makes it easier for me to draw strokes um, let's go with the black color drop the opacity and the brush size a little bit and um, hitting the layers tab right now so we can take a look uh, at what we have so far layer one it's got our old smiley face on it let's create a new layer essentially think of a layer as a transparent piece of paper if you remember overhead machines in schools they use transparent pieces of paper the teacher has text on one and then another one she plays over it she can use marker and it doesn't affect the one below layers same concept right so we have layer two tap anywhere on the screen um, on the canvas area to to hide that and now we have this new layer let's go ahead and kind of draw new lines for the eyes and I, I can um, I don't need to worry about drawing over any of the green just because again we're on a separate layer it's it's not going to be um, affecting the green at all I, I like to tilt my screen with my fingers as I zoom in and zoom out and paint so um, you might see a lot of that but anyways right so we've got let's give him I don't know some derpy eyes okay cool so now when we pop the layers tab open we can see that uh, there's a preview of what we have on the layer currently let's click on the green the layer one green face and um, I can click the little bubble to the left of that to toggle the layer on and off this is important when you need to look at you know when you have like a sketch layer uh, above or underneath and you just need to see what the difference is so you can toggle it using that little uh, ball circle some other things you can do with the layers if you look to the right of the layer notice the N when you click the N you can change all the different layer settings there's multiply linear burn color burn all these cool different settings that um, I will kind of go a little bit more in depth to when I'm doing more advanced techniques for paintings but for now we'll click on normal that's okay okay so another thing you can do is if you swipe all the way to the left you've got different options you can either delete the layer duplicate it copy it select it you know all that good stuff and if you swipe to the right it'll alpha lock which is another technique that I'll talk a little bit more about in the future uh, you can tap once onto layer one or well whatever layer you have selected and from there you can rename you can just clear the entire layer or fill in whatever is there or select the contents if I select the contents it'll it'll have these like little lines going across everything that is not um, that is not part of the layer which are you know all the strokes that haven't been touched on that transparent piece of paper if you can kind of imagine you know uh, it'll only select the stuff that is non-transparent basically all right finally let's delete the green face we don't need it anymore we have replaced it with this still sketchy but cleaner black lined uh, line art for for our new smiley uh, now creating a new layer just to illustrate my point a little bit further if I grab say a orange like a uh, light orange brown whatever tan color uh, sometimes it doesn't want to change it right away I don't know why it does that but got to make sure I see the top right circle you got to make sure it's uh, on the color you want so now when I'm drawing with this new tool you can see that it's I'm going over all the black lines right well if my intention wasn't to do that I can show you what, what could be done so we drew over the eyeballs and we're like oh wait what about the little pupils inside well we can click on the layer when it does that whole separating graphic slide it down 
and drop it below the eyes so, or below the line arts. So there you go. No longer are the pupils hidden and anything I draw, um, anything that is basically underneath layer, like wherever layer 2 is, whatever I draw will not be covered by layer 1 just because it's right underneath it. You know, from here if I grab a lighter color, I said lighter color, and do, for example, some highlights, but then run into the the outline, guess what? It won't go outside the lines. So this is essentially a good technique for, um, you know, you, you'll do line art and then you'll grab a color layer for the section underneath, and there you go, and that's how you could go about doing that. All right, that's just a few of the settings for the layer. Now, what are some other really handy things that I could show you? Well, let's select layer two. Say this is our line art. This is what we're using to give us an idea of what the painting is supposed to look like. Right at the top left, the wrench. Nope, excuse me, my bad. The magic wand. The magic wand are, is the adjustments tab. All the adjustments here are well, I don't use all of them, but the most handy one for sure would be the opacity. Uh, notice how we have a blue bar at the top right, or just going along the top uh, set settings tool. If I click anywhere on the screen and hold, as I swipe to the left, the opacity gets dropped, and I can swipe even further, and um, you know, just do that again, and you can see the entire layer just uh, becomes invisible when it reaches zero. We can leave it at like 45, sure. Now, click on the magic wand twice again, or just twice to kind of turn it off. There you go, now the layer is in lowered opacity, meaning that if I am to grab, say, this tan color again, and go around the outlines of layer 2 you can see it's showing up a little bit underneath just because the opacity is lowered again think of it as like an overhead if 50 percent of the color up top is showing then the other 50 will be leaking through from the layer underneath and that's sort of sort of how layers work and uh, a good reason to lower opacity is to say clean up the outlines you know your strokes were too rough and um, it's hard to understand exactly where you wanted stuff put so lower the opacity and then go in with a finer brush and uh, you know fix the details uh, it's really useful for for uh, such techniques so I advise anybody who is um, wanting to learn layers you know that's a great start it, it's the same kind of process um, that Photoshop and other programs on the computer use so this is a great great way to kind of introduce yourself to layers and uh, the the app does a really good a good job of laying them out simply so let's say we are happy with that I think eventually we're gonna turn this into a drawing like a smiley face by the end of the series you know have something to look at. I could show you guys one of my paintings, but since it's um, not always really early in its stage, it might end up just being overwhelming for some. So I'll save it for another time. Again, dropping these dark red strokes for the outline of the eyes. And uh, the way that I work is eventually I turn off the the line art layer and um, for me the goal is to have the painting already make sense without the line art when you know just get to the stage where I can turn it off and everything still makes sense so say we fill in the rest of this smiley face area with this I guess skin skin type color not really okay and this will be paint or the end of tutorial number two. This will conclude it. In the next tutorial, we are going to take a look at all the top left tools 
and sort of how we can um, use all these techniques to kind of help us save time when painting and we can also take a look at uh, different brush settings and how to change your brushes and maybe even make some custom ones Ooh. all right thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next tutorial Thank you.